Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top Amazon beauty must-haves. Now these are all products that are under £20 and they are items that I have been using and loving for a long time. So there'll be no makeup recommendations in this video. Some are makeup related but most of them are just beauty related products. Before we get into it, just to let you know that I do post videos like this every week so I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel because I would love to have you here. All right, let's get into some Amazon must-haves. So I'm not doing this in any particular order, but I'm just going to start with one that I use every single day. These are microfiber wristbands. So you might be wondering, what are microfiber wristbands and what do you use them for? <laughs> it's quite funny really because my mother-in-law thinks I'm an absolute nutter for using these because she just can't understand why I use them. So let me tell you, when I wash my face, I could not cope with how much of a mess I was making on the floor. So there would be water everywhere, but even worse, the water would literally drip down my arms as I was washing my face. <laughs> so I looked into it a little bit, what could I do to stop this from happening? And that's when I came across these microfiber wristbands. So basically you put them around your wrists when you are about to have a wash and they soak up every bit of water so you don't get any dripping down your arms, you don't get any on the floor beneath you making the bathroom super, super wet. They're amazing. Now these are my favorite ones by Brushworks. Now these have got a little bit grubby, so I did buy <laughs> an extra packet. Now these are really big, thick bands and these are my absolute favorites. You do only get one set with the Brushworks. You can get cheaper ones, they're a little bit smaller. These are the brushworks and these are just really generic ones. For the smaller ones, you get four in a pack. So they are different in size. I found with the more generic ones, these smaller ones, they're just as good. They do the exact same job. The only thing I found was that sometimes they would shed when I would first start using them, but the brushworks ones never had a problem with them. They're massive, really comfortable. You can keep washing them and washing them and they will stay just as well. They're brilliant. And I know water dripping down your arms and falling on the bathroom floor, first world problems, but I could not ever have a wash without these ever again. They are genius and I take them everywhere with me. They, they come anywhere I go, these wristbands come with me. My mum, my mother-in-law, they think I'm a little bit weird, but I have dry arms and they don't. I will link all of these products in the description box down below and I will include links for the UK and the US. So the next item, these are washcloths. So they're very much related to the first. They are called Erase Your Face. <laughs> I don't know whether I like or loathe that name. I'm not sure yet, but they actually do exactly what they say they're going to do. They don't erase your actual face, but they erase your makeup. So the claims are that you do not need to use a separate cleanser in order to wash your face. You just use one of these cloths and it will do the job and it claims to even remove waterproof mascara. So I decided to give these a go. I always use a washcloth, a face cloth, whatever you wanna call it. And this would be an example of a normal face cloth that I would use. And they are completely different in texture. So as this isn't, you know, what you would normally associate with a washcloth, this, it kind of feels a little bit fleecy. When I first got them, I thought this feels really, really strange. How is this going to take my makeup off? So when I first used it, I did it without a cleanser. And oh my goodness, this really does erase your makeup. These are an amazing option for people who use face wipes, makeup wipes, you can swap out your makeup wipes for one of these. And the amazing thing is about these is they are completely reusable. You can wash these for up to 500 times. You just need to make sure that you put them on a cold wash in the washing machine before you use them. So the cloths come in a pack of four. They come in different colors, by the way. You choose what colors you want and they are amazing. 
So the washcloth is water activated and as you can see, it's taking off all of my makeup, including my mascara, so well. Yes, you do have to work just a little bit harder to get the mascara off, but it's so worth it to not actually have to use a physical cleanser. It's brilliant. I haven't, I haven't tried these on waterproof mascara because I don't wear waterproof mascara, but I can tell you that this will remove your makeup with no cleanser. I still do double cleanse, that's just what I like to do, but this feels so much nicer on my skin. But if you use face wipes, if you use makeup wipes, you should totally consider swapping them out for these because number one, it's going to save you money. You know, having to replace your wipes over and over again. Number two, I feel like they would be amazing for sensitive skin. So if you find that you just cannot find your perfect cleanser, these would be an amazing option. They will get rid of all your makeup with no separate cleanser. Number three, they're obviously more environmentally friendly because you can ditch those wipes and replace them with these that you can keep reusing. These are honestly amazing face cloths. Go and have a look at some of the reviews. As I said, I will link them down below. Take a look at some of the reviews and you'll see what people are saying about them. They really are such a simple concept but they do an amazing job. Definitely a recommendation. And again, come everywhere with me. Okay, so we've erased our face with our microfiber wristbands on. And next we're going to move on to one of my most loved products. And this is my makeup travel case. So this is the one that I have and you can see how much it's used. <laughs> Look, it's filthy inside because I don't go anywhere without this. So I decided it was time for a new one. So I bought a replacement that is clean. Yes, it's clean just for you. Who wants to be looking at that because I don't. This case has been everywhere with me. So let me just tell you why I love it. I had honestly been looking for a travel case for ages, but I couldn't find one that met my needs really. All the travel cases were either too big or they were too small. I am not a light traveler. No, no, I'm not. So I like to take a good amount of cosmetics with me wherever I go. You know, just in case I'm not a light traveler. Not at all. Ask my husband, he'll tell you. Now this comes with compartments, but you can take these out and basically pack it as you wish. You can take these out completely or you can just adjust it to fit your needs. I like to take these bottom bits out. So I may keep a couple of palettes in here, powder, you know, bigger items. And then at the top, your smaller items. It really is, it's so good. Then you have a little pocket here. So in here, I tend to put things like cotton boards or cotton pads. I might put my lash curlers in there, tweezers, things like that. You know, random things that you need for doing your makeup. And then here, it actually has an amazing little section for brushes. I just think this makeup travel case is just so underrated. Well, maybe it is rated, I don't know. Do you have this travel case? Because I don't know anybody else that actually has this. Now, it's it's hard on the bottom and it's sturdy on the top. Now, it's not completely hard, so it is slightly bendable, but I have taken this everywhere. I've been on many planes with my travel case and I've never suffered with a broken item. It's always done an amazing job at protecting my items. Just keeping all of your cosmetics, your makeup in one place, it's just so handy. So just a great way to keep your stuff organized, to keep them protected. And it's just, it's so handy. Honestly, if you get this, you will be so chuffed because it is such good value. Can't go wrong. Now the next item is actually a mirror. Now I've been looking for a, a mirror that I could use easily when I'm doing my videos, but I also was in desperate need of a mirror for when I travel. I don't know how you feel, but when I go to hotels and I go to hotel rooms, why are they so dark? Pitch black and they expect me to be able to do my makeup. So I do have, I have like a quite a big mirror like this that you can plug in and it illuminates and great light, but it's an absolute nightmare for traveling with. This, on the other hand, is perfect. Now, I don't want to turn it round all the way because it's just going to reflect back, but it's actually a chargeable mirror. 
and it has a white light, a warm white light and a warm light and you literally just charge it up with a USB cable. It has this really handy detachable magnifying mirror that you can have either on or off and it also has a little stand at the back and the fact that I don't have to plug it in Genius. I just charge it. Doesn't take long to charge at all. Charge lasts for absolutely ages. It's not the absolute brightest mirror on the block, but it's bright enough to be able to do your makeup. I think they have different colours as well, and it's as light as a feather. And this also fits into my travel case. See? Just for convenience sake is fantastic. Don't have to plug it in. We'll charge it up. Light as a feather. Compact. Has a stand good to go, has a little magnifier. What else would you want? Now my next item are my eyelash curlers. I have had these eyelash curlers for over 10 years. These are by Tweezerman. Now I know there's hundreds of thousands of eyelash curlers out there, but I've had these for so long because I've never actually felt the need to go out there and buy any more. And I didn't use lash curlers for years. Now I don't have the best lashes in the world. They are short, they're sparse and they need curl. And one of the main reasons why I need curl to my lashes, I have a really prominent brow bone. So I have to do everything I can to try and open up my eyes. I know that curling your eyelashes can feel a little bit invasive. And you know, you feel like if you move a muscle, you're going to rip all your eyelashes out. But I've just found that these are really, really user friendly. I've never had an issue with them. And I think in the set, the Tweezerman set, you get spare pads as well. You know, there are some eyelash curlers that don't even come with those comfort pads. I think these are really good value and obviously very, very sturdy. Like I said, I've had these probably for over 10 years. I should probably replace them, actually, <laughs> come to think of it. I can definitely assure you that you cannot go wrong with Tweezerman eyelash curlers. They are such a necessity for me. Tweezerman do them really, really well. So yeah, top recommendations if you want curly lashes. Okay, eye patches. These are fantastic. I absolutely love these. These are the Crystal Collagen Gold Powder Eye Masks. Now, you can get any eye masks on Amazon, to be honest. I don't think it really matters which one you get, but these are my absolute favorite. So obviously you don't reuse these. You will just pop these on under your eyes, leave them on for about 15, 20 minutes, and they should leave your under eyes feeling more hydrated, more plump, less tired looking, and they're great at de-puffing the under eye too. I generally don't have time to use these every morning. Where am I gonna find 20 minutes from? But if I've got some time at the weekend or in the evening as part of my skincare routine, these are fantastic. It's just really, really nice. To just sit there and just get a little bit of, you know, hydration on your under eyes. Our under eyes definitely become more problematic as we get older. Mine definitely have, you know, they've become more dry, obviously. They have thinned out quite considerably. So I really, really try to look after them. These eye patches contain hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, grapeseed extract. So lots of lovely ingredients. And again, going back to skin prep before makeup, if you can, you know, pop these on before you do your makeup in the morning, amazing. These would be great at getting your under eyes ready for concealer. I think you will find a difference in how your concealer applies. Just to look after those under eyes and show them some love. These are a really affordable option. So yeah, if you're looking for a little bit of a treat, a little bit of hydration for your under eyes, you can't go wrong with these eye patches. I've spoken a lot about skincare on this channel and about doing the best makeup prep that you can in order to receive makeup because if you don't do skin prep, your makeup probably isn't going to look the best it can. And one vital step in my skincare routine is toner. I have a whole video on this, which I will link. I'm not going to blab on about it now. But what I will say about toners is how important they are in your makeup routine or in your skincare routine. And I'm going to show you two of my favorite toners and they both do totally different things. I used to be pretty clueless when it came to toners. I just thought, what, what's the point in that? I don't get that step. But let me tell you, toners can do a lot of important jobs. And two that I want to talk to you about today actually come in mini travel form. 
And I think that they're really good options if you just want to try out a product or obviously if you're traveling. So these are the two toners. One is by Paula's Choice. This is an exfoliating toner and it's a skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So it's salicylic acid. So salicylic acid, this is something that I have introduced to my routine before I put my foundation on. And I have spoken about this before. I used to think that exfoliating toners could only be used in the evening but honestly using them before makeup can be an absolute game changer so toners can be amazing well especially exfoliating toners they're amazing at getting rid of excess dead skin cells unclogging your pores minimizing pores they're really good for anti-aging they're really good for brightness and resurfacing the skin all amazing when you are about to apply makeup on top and honestly toners make for a really good prep to receive your skincare so this is my favorite exfoliating toner but my favorite balancing toner so this is a little bit more gentle this is from elemis now they do obviously both of these you can get them in full size you can get this one in this is lavender you can also get it in apricot this is really good at restoring the balance of your skin the natural ph of your skin it's really good for calming irritation for calming redness it's really good for hydration and it's really good for preparing your skin for serums to help with the penetration of serums. So I kind of alternate between different toners, but these are brilliant little options for if you just want to try them out or if you just want them for traveling. So the Paula's Choice is 30 mil and the Elemis is 50 mil and they last for ages. You are not choosing an obscene amount of these. You're using a tiny little bit on a cotton pad and just wiping it all over your face, not under your eyes though. Uh, well, you can use the balancing one under your eyes, but don't use an exfoliating toner under your eyes. Wipe it all over your skin and then use your serums. And then if this is before makeup, you will find a significant difference in how your makeup looks. I promise you that. I was having crazy texture they're called sebaceous filaments i was having them on my chin i was having them on my nose significant pores significant enlarged pores but since i started using an exfoliating toner before i do my makeup my skin looks completely different and people have commented on like some of my foundation reviews saying oh your skin looks amazing but honestly it's just all about the prep i don't have amazing skin i just use really amazing products and try to look after my skin and give my makeup the best base that i can so if you're looking to dip into toners and look at the differences between the two i would definitely advise picking up uh, one of these little minis just to see if you like it, see if your skin accepts them and enjoys them. Um, but they are really, really good and really, really affordable options. Next, we're moving on to nail care. And I just wanted to share with you two products that I absolutely could not be without. So I do my own nails. I use Builder Gel. So if you know nothing about Builder Gel, they're basically gel nails. So you're having to use LED lights and it can be quite harsh on your nails. Nails can become weak and brittle quite easily. Now, I've always used nail oils and I've never really found one that I've absolutely loved. But then I started to use this, which is a cuticle oil. And I think I think it's called Sucho. Um, oh, please forgive me if I've completely butchered that. Now, this is a revitalizing cuticle oil. So first of all, why do we need to use cuticle oil? Well, we don't need to use anything. But if you have your nails done or you do your own nails, you will know if you go and get your nails done that they always use cuticle oil at the end when they're finishing you up. But you need to keep on top of that. You need to keep looking after your cuticles. So using a cuticle oil will help with nail strength, with nail growth. It will help with moisture on the nail beds. It will help prevent breakage. First of all, as you can see, you get a, um, an absolutely huge amount of product. So how much do you get here? So you get 75 ml of product, which is a massive amount because you are using the tiniest little amount of this. And it comes in lots of different options. So I have the lavender and chamomile. I had peach, vanilla. They had tons and tons of options. Now I should apply this three times a day, but I forget. But I definitely apply it every night. It comes with this little dropper 
and it is lasting me for ages. Because I do my own nails, I have honestly noticed a massive difference in my cuticles. They're not as dry. It doesn't take me as long to prep my nails. What I really love, can you see it's got a little bit of a, a slanted edge so it, it can like sit back like this or it can sit up like this but definitely huge, huge value for money and definitely a big recommendation if you are looking to take better care of your nails or if you get your nails done, get yourself a cuticle oil. You won't regret it. Now, sticking with nails, I do my own nails. So in order to do your own nails, if you're doing gel nails, build gel, whatever you're doing, acrylics, you need to prep your nails. And one of the steps of preparation is removing dead skin, dead cuticle. Now you don't need to use an actual cuticle remover. I didn't for ages, but then after seeing so many people recommend them, I decided to dive in and try. Now, the first one I tried was the CND cuticle remover, which is more expensive than the one I'm going to recommend. I didn't find the CND cuticle remover to be that much good. I still had to work really hard to prep my nails. So I decided to try one that had the highest amount of reviews on Amazon, and it's really, really cheap. It's a Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover. And basically the, you just put this just around the cuticle and leave it on for, I think it's about 20 seconds they recommend. I leave it on for a little bit longer, but this has honestly cut my cuticle prep time in half. This will just get rid of all that dead skin and you do not need to work hard to get rid of all that dead skin from the nail bed. It's absolutely brilliant. So how much do you get? You get, you get what a random, random amount. 29.5 mil. That gives me a bit of anxiety. Why couldn't they just give 30 mil? Does an amazing job at getting your nails prepped and just keeping them nice and healthy and getting rid of that dead skin. It's, and it does a great job. What a steal. Now I could have done a list of 50 products and I'm going to split this into parts. So today I wanted it to be things that I love and use that are really quite affordable. In another video down the line, I'll show you some of my higher priced items, but you don't need to be spending a fortune on things for them to be good as this proves today. But the next item is a hair care item and it is Moroccan oil. Now this is the full size, but the one that I'm going to be linking below is actually the smaller version. Now the smaller version is about 30 ml of product. The bigger product is 100 ml. I've used oils in the past and I absolutely hated them. And I think I was just using them incorrectly. I can't remember whether it was Moroccan oil that I tried in the past, but I'd obviously used it up near my roots and it had made my hair really, really greasy. I have really thick hair and I just have a lot of it and I can find it really, really hard to blow dry sometimes. So my hairdresser recommended Moroccan oil and what a game changer. So she told me just to use it on the roots and to use it before you blow dry. Now this can be used before blow drying or after blow drying, but I found it best before I blow dry. So it's alcohol free and it's designed to absorb into your hair and hydrate it. It is amazing for dehydrated, thirsty hair, or if you have thick, coarse hair, similar to me, you will find this an absolute godsend. So since using Moroccan oil, I found my hair much easier to blow dry. When my hair has just been washed, it can get quite knotty. Moroccan oil has been a great detangler. So it detangles and it moisturizes. And I've also found that since using Moroccan oil, that I can go longer periods now between having it cut. My hair wasn't looking dead or problematic at all because the Moroccan oil was helping with that. And I think the key with Moroccan oil is just to use a tiny amount Focus it on the ends and you will notice such a difference in your hair, honestly. And you don't have to use it in every single wash, maybe once a week, whatever you see fit. But yeah, if you have thicker or coarser hair, I think you would really enjoy it. I'll link down below the smaller version, the 30 mil, but I'll also link the full size version as well. Um, it depends on really how much you wash your hair. I am like a twice a week lady. I don't wash my hair any more than that. I don't have the headspace for it. And I do have some absolute holy grail shampoo and conditioners, and I will share them in another video, but 
today I kind of just wanted to stick to 10 items to share with you and honestly I really do hope that you find them as useful as me and these are all products that I bought with my own money that I love and that I genuinely could not be without. Do let me know what are your Amazon absolute beauty must-haves. I need to know. Please do share them in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I really appreciate you being here with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one but until then take care and bye for now.